Hello, my name is Joachim Suter. I'm a LANA certified lymphedema therapist and the founder of the Academy of Lymphatic Studies. I'm also the author of this Facebook page and lymphedema blog, which is a website dedicated to provide relevant and up-to-date and free information to patients affected by lymphedema, lipedema and other forms of swelling. Today I would like to talk to you about lymphedema and its treatment and management with complete decongestive therapy or CDT, which is the treatment of choice for lymphedema and uh, often labeled as the gold standard therapy for lymphedema. Backed by long-standing experience, CDT has been shown to be safe and effective as the standard therapy for lymphedema. It is listed on the websites of the American uh, Cancer Society, the National Cancer Institute and the International Society of Lymphology as the main component in the treatment and management of primary and secondary lymphedema and shows excellent long-term results if applied correctly by a skilled and certified lymphedema therapist. Now, complete decongestive therapy or CDT is a multi-component treatment system which includes manual lymph drainage, compression therapy, decongestive and breathing exercises and skin and nail care. Now, let me explain those components briefly. Manual lymph drainage or MLD is a soft and gentle manual manipulation of the tissues and superficial lymphatic structures designed to increase the activity of functioning lymph vessels. The specific techniques used in MLD are also effective in rerouting lymph flow in lymphedema around the blocked areas into areas more centrally located that contain healthy lymph vessels. So MLD assists in moving protein-rich fluid from the affected body part. In order to prevent the reaccumulation of fluid following the MLD treatment, compression of the affected body part needs to be applied. Now, why is compression so important? Secondary to the swelling associated with lymphedema, the elastic fibers in the tissues are damaged and as a result the affected body part is always at risk for reaccumulation of fluid. External support of the body part affected by lymphedema is therefore an essential component of lymphedema management. In fact, without the benefits provided by compression therapy, successful treatment and management of lymphedema would be impossible. Based on the phase of the treatment, compression therapy is applied either by a special bandage material, so-called short stretch bandages, or by compression garments. So we covered manual lymph drainage, MLD, and uh, compression therapy. The third component of CDT are decongestive exercises, which are tailored to the patient's specific needs and complement the decongestive effects of MLD and compression therapy. Part of this program are also breathing exercises, which are of particular importance for those patients affected by lower extremity lymphedema. The movement of the diaphragm in breathing exercises combined with the inward and outward movement of the ribcage and lower back promotes lymphatic return in the large lymph vessels located in the abdominal area. The final component of CDT is skin and nail care. Patients affected by lymphedema are susceptible to infections of the skin and nails. Meticulous care of these areas is essential to the success of CDT. The skin is usually impermeable to bacteria and other pathogens, but any defect in the skin, whether from trauma, heat or other causes, can serve as an entry site for infectious agents. Lymphedema tissues are saturated with protein-rich fluid, which serves as an ideal breeding ground for pathogens. So this was a brief introduction into the management of lymphedema with complete decongestive therapy. I would like to point out that in order for CDT to be effective, it is of utmost importance that the treatment components of CDT are applied correctly by a certified lymphedema therapist or CLT. CLTs undergo a 135-hour training course in a school which meets the requirements set by the Lymphology Association of North America or LANA 
in the training and certification of lymphedema therapists. So when choosing a lymphedema therapist, please make sure that he or she was trained appropriately. You can find more information on this topic and other articles related to lymphedema and its treatment on the Lymphedema Blog website at www.lymphedemablog.com. Just click on any article on the index which is located on the left side of the webpage.